Welcome to this session. In this session, we are going to talk about 3D architecture. The 3D architecture comprises of three layers. Each layer is responsible for performing individual functions. As I previously told you in my previous lecture, the presentation tier, it is the topmost layer of application, which is none but the user interface. Means the user interface resides in this layer. The function of this layer is to translate tasks and result into human interpretable format. Means whatever you want to fed in is governed through this layer, the topmost layer, and whatever is coming out from the processing, after the processing, is also obtained from this layer, that is your presentation tier. Right. Now, the second layer, that is middle layer, is logic tier. It is intelligent layer also. This layer is responsible for processing application commands. As you know, multiple application could run onto the server. So multiple commands, uh, so many commands are there. And uh, the processing of the those commands is uh, the responsibility of this layer, basically. Now, it could make uh, logical decisions and perform calculations as and when required. Now, the bottom layer is data tier. This layer is responsible to store and retrieve information from the database of a file system as and when required. The information is passed to the logic tier for processing and finally back to the user. You could understand with the help of uh, this uh, schematic diagram as you found that uh, these are user interface means through it only user can interact with the system. Now as user feed a request, as user send a request, the request has been passed through logic tier. The logic tier is intelligent enough to give direction, appropriate direction to that request. And then the request has been processed and data tier. And whenever it is required, external storage is called. The application uh, is on for external storage. And then the response is again sent back to the client through logic tier. Now here the logic tier responsibility is very important. As you see all the applications data is routed from top layer to bottom layer when request is made and from bottom layer to top layer when response is made means at the response time whatever the data is coming from the bottom layer has been translated into human interpretable format and then only it could be placed onto the upper layer that is presentation layer. Thereby the user could easily understand what is coming out. Now there are following advantages. With intrusion of a middle layer all the disadvantages of 2D architecture has been eliminated. 3D architecture disadvantages are as follows. Development environment is difficult to use than the two tier development environment. As you see there, there are three tiers, so it's much more difficult than the previous uh, 2D architecture. And obviously the cost is much more than the two tier architecture. Some usage of three tier architecture. The best use is with distributed client server architecture, which provides much flexible structure. Any distributed client server architecture you may thought of, various internet applications and net centric applications are the best example of free tier architecture. Thank you.